Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Miggy's already bugging me. Miggy's already bugging me. He saw my phone come out of my pocket. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here. Look at that sun. Beautiful day here in Michigan. It was beautiful yesterday, too. Got up to... 65 yesterday sunny and 65 i think it's supposed to get up about the same today beautiful day so i have a question for you guys how many of you were bugged to death how many of you were bugged to death by your dogs those of you who have your dogs on a feeding schedule um that get fed at a certain time every day like mine do mine get fed three times a day when we wake up in the morning, which is usually around between seven and eight, then I feed them lunch around one and then dinner at six. And I also give them, oh, <laughs> did you just, could you see Mickey roll when he, <laughs> Mickey, what happened? <laughs> Why'd you drop the roll? Did you fall down? Did you fall down? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I give them certain treats uh, during the day too at, a, at around certain times. Yeah, so my dogs were super <coughs> confused <coughs> and bugging me, especially Grant, who's over here. I'm trying not to zoom in until I figure out why when I zoom in, <coughs> the sound quality gets lower. I don't know why. I've, I've got to figure that out. If you guys know, um, please comment below and let me know how I can fix that. <coughs> But every time I zoom in on the dogs, you can't hear me as good. It's really weird. Yeah, but I was going to say, especially Mr. Grant, uh, he's like my alarm clock during the day. I always know what time it is because Mr. Grant starts following me around <laughs> to either get fed or to get his treat. He knows. Uh, he was very confused by the time change yesterday. Very. <laughs> Finally. Oh, nope, he's going to get another frisbee. I brought his other frisbee out too, so since I'm ignoring this one, he thinks he'll bring me this one. You don't like me to ignore you? You're so pushy. Yes, you are. You're so pushy. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping today goes a little bit better. <laughs> it's probably going to take, I bet, a week before they get used to the time change. Me too. It The time change just screws me up through, throughout for about a week. Uh, yeah. Takes me a while to get used to it too. I was ready for bed like at 7.30 because it was so dark out. Uh, so early. It felt like midnight. I was just yawning. And I was like, I could go to bed now, but I can't because I got to wait, let the boys out. If I went to bed at 7.30... I'd be up probably two and two, three in the morning. The dogs wanting to go out. Okay, I gotta go over here because Milo's digging. Milo! Milo! Why are you digging? I picked up the leaves. Look at I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in. I know the sound quality is gonna go down. <laughs> Marley's laying where the leaves were. They had a ball in those leaves, you guys. I'm glad you guys thought it was funny as me. Especially, I know everybody loved it when I threw the frisbee and Miggy just jumped in the leaves, looked like he disappeared. <laughs> the next day, they played in those leaves all day. It was so much fun to watch them play in the leaves. They were like little kids. Um, but I had to pick them up because I don't want the grass over here to die. And then it would become a mud pit. And uh, then the dogs would be playing in the mud pit and digging and stuff. So we couldn't have that. So we had to pick the leaves up which I have more leaves falling. Not too bad though, not too bad. So yeah, they had a ball. I wanna let you guys too know that I got a text from Dr. Pearson on Saturday and Dr. Pearson texted me that Mozzie's blood work is stable and no need to change any meds. He's doing wonderful. So he's gotta go back in three to four months to get blood work again get a urine test and have his blood uh, pressure checked. So I think that's going to be the normal, probably every three to four months, he's going to have to go in and get all that checked out, which is fine with me. 
as long as everything, all his blood work keeps coming back great, um, that is not a problem at all. And Mozzie's gonna be 10 years old on the 16th. November 16th is Mozzie's birthday. And for new subscribers, Mozzie was our first schnauzer. Yes, he started it all. He started our seven pack. <laughs> yes, he did. He, he's, he's the most loving, almost hugs you when you cuddle with him. Schnauzer there is. He's a wonderful dog and he's had his health issues. He had to have his gallbladder out, which his gallbladder being bad caused him to have, he had a mucus cell which then caused uh, some liver issues. Um, and then, no, no, no clean, don't clean yourself on TV. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> um, and he has Cushing's disease. You got your beard in your mouth? And he has Cushing's disease. So, but with, with getting his meds right, he's been doing great. Yes, he has. Milo! I don't know if something's under the ground tunneling or what. He's wanting to dig. Yeah, so his birthday is the 16th. And he's already gotten a couple gifts from subscribers um, for his birthday. We're waiting to open them on his birthday. Um, I need to go get him something. And I need to go pick up some low-fat um, yo uh, vanilla yogurt ice cream. So all the boys can have some ice cream on his birthday. They'll be excited. Yes, they will. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to let you go. Got some running around to do today. I'm going to go pick up some paint at Home Depot. I'm going to start painting my bathrooms, my two bathrooms. So I've got to, I've added another project. <laughs> That's my problem why I get overwhelmed. I start all these projects, but I want to get our house painted because when we bought this house, oh, it's almost been two years ago. Um, the people who painted it and did a little bit of remodeling, they flipped it basically. They didn't do the greatest job painting, so I'm going to start painting slowly, room by room, and get it repainted. Plus, I, I kind of want some different color in the house, too. Not really a fan of the color it is, so um, which is a very light gray. I'd like a little bit more of a darker color to contrast with the white trim. Anyways, I'm rambling now, so got to get to the store. Got lots to do today. Yep. All right. I hope everybody has a... Oh. Miggy's doing his business. You guys don't need to see that. Hope everybody has a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week. And we will see you guys again in the next video. Bye. <coughs> Let's videotape Grant, Grant's dance when he wants to go in. Are you a little happy because it's time to go in? <laughs> You're so silly. He just bounces around. It's like, yes, let's go in, please. <laughs>